Today we are going to explore the ancient and the modern history of the Tel Aviv Jaffa area. Come along, this is going to be so fascinating. This is the seal of Ramses II, the pharaoh that wanted to wipe all the Jews out, was throwing the baby boys into the Nile River. Based on this, we know that Ramses II was ruling this city right here, right next to modern city of Tel Aviv. But guess what? Ramses II and the Egyptians are not here. But I am, because they're gone and the Jews live. Am Yisrael Chai. Today, this is a place where people are living in peace, coexisting, this diverse group of people from all backgrounds and all religions. And it's just this one mile radius. And we've seen a mosque, a church, a synagogue, and everyone is together living. If we could take a lesson, it should be that we can peacefully coexist from the past, present, and future. Back in 1909, there were 66 families who lived here. They lived in small homes, but nothing like what you see here today. And this is the original lamppost, the first electric light on the streets of Tel Aviv. It's kind of hard to imagine that just over 100 years ago, this was the source of electricity in Tel Aviv. And now look at Tel Aviv. It's just a sea of lights. Where I'm standing is the place where Zionism was finally realized. Behind me, this monument represents the place where 66 families stood for the lottery to find out where they would live in the sand dune that later became Tel Aviv. This is not just the first home in Tel Aviv, but this is also the place where the Declaration of Independence was signed for the State of Israel and Israel declared statehood. Beyond the idea of Zionism as a realization of the dream of building a home in our ancestral homeland, Zionism is the idea of building something out of nothing, from a sand dune to this flourishing city that I stand in today. That is Zionism.